Back in a class five company for race number three. 1200 meter dash here, headed by Great Wisdom. Blinkers come off as he drops into class five for the first time. Regency Honey also into class, for the first, class five for the first time. They put the blinkers on for the first time. Smart Salute's a class dropper as well. Haymaker's been third, course and distance on his last two starts. Victory Duke first up, course and distance for the first time. And down to King Steed gets barrier three, and Matthew Chadwick on board. Yep. Uh, Regency Honey, you would think with the drop in grade, the blinkers on, is a horse that should travel to the lead if he can. Carry to win's got a front running profile, as does King Steed. Idyllic win generally doesn't get too far back. Victory Duke's had a change of stable. He's gone to Richard Gibson. He has had a front running profile. They've got good to slow. I, I tend to disagree. I think it'll be more of a good pace here in this Class 5 over 1200 with a few noted horses trying to lead. Uh, Regency Honey's got the blinkers on. You can see he was really keen with them on as well with this piece of work. That's why I thought I'd show it. He really wants to get on and uh, the riding boy wasn't letting him go at all. So he, he couldn't settle. So he should go to the front. Um, here he is working with the Golden Age, who's racing in a higher grade race later on. And uh, again, working with the blinkers. And this is when he was let go and he settled nicely and worked well. So that's why I thought I'd highlight those two different points of, of work for him. Smart Salutes, uh, another horse who's been downgraded and uh, he's been working well. That's him just going away from Dragon Bachelor, another acceptor for this meeting. And I thought it was a really nice piece from uh, Smart Salute. He's uh, going well. And King Steed, he's allowed to uh, stretch out as well. He's getting down to a very low rating now, King Steed, down to um, 21 at the moment. And you can see there uh, he's going nicely as well. Yeah, they're a little sharp for him last start over the thousand, but 1,200, he's got a chance of leading. And here he is down the back straight with a second gallop, and he was just given a bit of extra rain as he came down the back straight as well, and he, he responded nicely enough. All right. We're going to start with the horses who have already been in Class 5 for a little while. We'll come back to the downgraders um, in a second. So we've got Haymaker here, who's been third on his last two starts. This from the same draw, Barry 11. Rocket let win. I think he's had a few chances, and carry to win as well. Yeah, he gets another reasonable barrier, Rocket let win, so he's probably got to give some little each-way chance. I'm going to stick with Haymaker. He got... A fair way back here, probably further back than I think that Matthew wanted. But he just hit the line really well. Look at him making up ground here. It was a solid run. He's been knocking on the door for a win. We're on the A course too. If there's a bit of congestion early, a bit of speed, which I think there will be, um, he can just sit one off, peel to the outside, get to the middle part of the track. There might be a few sort of finding traffic problems, as can be the, often the case on the A course. Sweeps down the middle. I think he's too good for these. He, he's well rated, there's no question. Uh, he's rated really well, and he'll have that apprentice claim as well. All You've right. been a big fan of him, Paul. Yeah, I have, yeah, and I've got him in again. I just think some, some of these downgraders might run quite well. But, Fair enough. Um, yeah, he's, um, yeah, he's Barry 11, as you say, with just where he ends up in the run. If he does get a bit further back, I think mm. he'll run on well, don't get me wrong, but uh, maybe there'd be one in front of him that was... Yeah, if the thing. pace is a little bit slow, yeah. like the map suggested, then that'll mm. go yeah. against him. All right, well, let's have a look at uh, some of the downgraders. This might be one of the horses that uh, Paul's talking about. Smart Salute. We're going back a few starts for him. Uh, Fifth Regency Honey's in this race as well. Yeah, just... Uh, here's the one, actually. I, I do like the Smart Salute. I, I'm going to give Regency Honey a chance because of the blinkers on, but with the Smart Salute, Zach Perdon's jumped aboard Barrier 4... Uh, really interesting jockey change with a senior jockey jumping aboard and now he's down into class five. I think he might have been set for this particular race. He hit the line nicely enough. Yeah, Happy Valley's definitely his track. Yeah. Um, he's placed at 1,200. I just wonder whether he might be sort of one of those horses that could be in a little bit of traffic. I've got him as the main danger because yeah. of the drop in grade, but... Um, yeah, interesting. 1650 is probably more ideal for him. That's where he's won anyway. Yeah. Mm. That was Lufchung where he was just running past as well in the closing yeah. stages. So interesting form lines there. King Steed, the last one we're going to have a look at. We saw the track work. This is what he does on the course. Yeah, this is over 1,000, so he's stepping up to 1,200, I think, will suit him better. And he got back on this occasion. It still ran on OK. Uh, going near the front, he's, you know, he, it's almost D-Day for him now. He's changed stables. He's with Peter Ho. He's at a low rating with a low barrier draw, so this is his opportunity. I don't but wanna, he's had plenty. I, I, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to say too much about him because it's it's all negative. So yeah, he's he's weak. Um, he's had a couple of runs for the new stable, so maybe he can progress a little bit more. But uh, he needs to. He's right. the lowest rated horse in the race for a reason. 
Okay, all right, but probably uh, win now. <laughs> have a save, Ronnie. Um, you played your hand full. Smart salute for you. Yeah, best bet, King Steve. No, no. I've, yeah, I've got uh, smart, smart salute on top. I, I, I like the fact that he's been downgraded and Zach Purden jumps aboard. Uh, King Steed in there for a second. We'll give him an opportunity. He's come up short in the market, though. He'd won a higher price than $4. But he is working well. The 1,200 will suit, and he's had a couple of runs to the new stable. Haymaker will run well, no question. And Regency Honey with the blinkers on. 4, 12, 6 and 2, but I'll play exotics. I just think Haymaker, this is a very winnable race for him. I'm hoping there is a little bit more pace than we saw in the speed map. Um, I think he gets his chance to just get into a one-off position, get to the outside and overhaul. Smart salute, he'll try to make ground as well. Hurricane Kid, now another horse that's trained stable, gone to Frankie Law. We know how well those horses are going. Just wanted to put him in for that reason. And Regency Honey, I think, will be one of the horses on the pace with blinkers on can be up there. But I'm happy to go straight out on Haymaker. I think this is his race.